This archer has a complex set of problems related to his complex alignment. All of these misalignments and bends create their own problems. First, we can see that the tension in the hand causes the hand to tense in. Also, the wrist tension causes the wrist to snap down. Then, the hand moves up because of the upward tension in the arm caused by the low elbow. And finally, he relaxes and everything settles down over the shoulder. It's a strange course to take, but it was all predestined by the pre-stresses and the strange alignment. This archer doesn't release. He explodes. But he does it successfully. Let's look at how he does this. He starts out with a slightly high elbow, but when he releases, he manages to coordinate activities well enough to pull straight back. He pulls well with the back tension through the release, and only after the arrow is gone does he take the extreme explosive actions. This shooter is much more classic in his approach. He starts out in line and pulls straight back with back tension. His add-on follow-through degenerates into a collapse, but the shot is over by that point, so it doesn't affect the arrow flight at all. Here's an example of a completely irrelevant follow-through, and a release that will never be corrected by any follow-through. Notice how out of line this archer is. Her elbow is way too high. When she releases, her hand and arm snap down as a result of the pre-stresses. Then she does this extra, completely unrelated activity that's totally worthless. It affects nothing. This archer has a good basic release. But notice how she starts out with her wrist bent vertically. It's minor, but it's enough to cause her hand to snap down on release. Notice how she keeps her action very short, with almost no follow-through. This archer starts out with a high elbow, so she is out of line vertically. At full draw, she has to be pushing down with her hand. When she releases, her hand snaps down as a result of the vertical pre-stresses. But the follow-through covers it up, and she is never aware. Archers who use a hunter release often keep a bent wrist, as with this archer here. It further complicates her general alignment problem. When she releases, we see exactly what we would expect. The hand snaps down as a result of the misalignment pre-stresses. When an archer starts with her draw elbow too high, there is usually very little choice but to pull it down with side muscle tension. The final position looks like a good back tension result, but we saw a different. This archer takes the alignment problem the other direction. His draw elbow is low and he has to be pushing up. When he releases, we expect to see the arm and the hand move up. And that is exactly what we see. It's the classic response to a low elbow anchor. Here, we see exactly what we expect. She starts out perfectly in line. She releases and pulls straight back.
From the back angle, we can see that there is some downward motion of the elbow. Here is another archer misaligned with his elbow low. He must be pushing up at the anchor. When he releases, the hand moves up predictably as a result of the pre-stresses. This archer is in line. Notice her pinky. She puts it in a consistent place right behind the eye, but the pinky is too adjustable to be a valuable positioning reference. It doesn't provide anything. At first glance, this archer appears to have her elbow too high and be out of line. But notice the low pressure point on the bow hand. She is actually perfectly in line. When she releases, she pulls straight back with back tension. And the elbow and the hand flow back exactly as they should. This archer is nicely in line, but she is leaning her hand into her cheek and letting her head do part of the holding back. When she releases, her hand comes straight back, but so does her head. This is because the neck is pulling back to hold some of the tension. Watch it again. Here is another archer with the same problem, but a bit more obvious. Notice how his head turns back when he releases. This is a result of the neck pre-stresses. Watch it again. Once it is pointed out, it is a very obvious flaw. 